Hey everybody, I'm Alan Rodriguez, and if you've seen my content, you know I like talking about my own law firm's journey. Uh, I like talking about innovation in law, law firm operations, legal tech, law firm marketing. I also like talking about trends that are happening in the legal industry, but I realize I haven't introduced myself and tell you where a lot of that content originates, like what motivates a lot of what I share. So that's this video. So who, who am I and why do I produce the content? So I own a law firm, I'm a law firm founder. The law firm is Singular Law in Arizona. I also run a and own a law innovation agency. I'm the CEO of 1400. We are a law innovation agency that helps law firms build products, market their services and adopt automation technology. I also own a legal SaaS company called uh, simpleclient.com, which I acquired last year. So that makes me an investor and an M&A person. I've bought a competing agency, Divorce Marketing Group. I'm a regular educator and contributor. I've guest lectured at law schools. I've contributed content for numerous CLEs, conferences, webinars. I'm a board member of several legal organizations. And I'm also a shareholder in a number of startups. And a lot of my content, a lot of what I'm trying to share is driven by one real passion. And that passion is I really want to see more people have better access to justice in America. And why am I so passionate about it? Well, you know, in America, this is a pretty big problem. We have one of the largest and most robust legal industries in, in all the world. And even though there are like 1.3 million lawyers in America, that's approximately one lawyer for every 330 Americans. 80 million Americans every year, this is very well documented, every year go either with inadequate or no access to justice every year. And so why is that? Well, a lot of that is because the legal industry doesn't always reward um, innovation in law. Lawyers are taught to look to the past for their answers, you know, stare decisis, precedent, right? As where innovation happens in the future. Lawyers are also taught to mitigate risk on behalf of their clients. But, you know, risk is what kind of drives innovation. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. So there are these disconnects. And I feel if everybody, regulators, lawyers, business people, technologists, kind of got together, put their heads together, we'd create better access to justice by reinventing how legal services are sold, delivered, and fulfilled. So a lot of that drives a lot of my content. One thing that you should know about me is that I'm actually not a lawyer. I'm a business person, technologist, but I'm able to own a law firm because two states in the country have done some pretty interesting and innovative things. They've changed the regulation that allows a business person like me to own a law firm, Singular Law Group. These two states are Arizona and Utah. So when you see a lot of my content, when you see a lot of the stuff that I'm producing, it's really in an effort to help other law firms and help other technologists and other business people jump in and innovate and create interesting business models where we can reduce the barrier of entry from both the finance perspective and then increase scalability in, in a law firm for the end goal of everybody has better access to justice. And if we did that, we'd be much better off as a society and we'd truly be a nation of laws, not of men. So, you know, give the video a like and follow me and watch the journey and I'll be transparent and share as much information as I gleaned over the 24 years of my career. Because no one person is going to solve this problem. It's going to be a uniform effort all around throughout the entire industry. Have a great day.